Hi everyone, I'm Jude Hotep, the goddess astrologer and alchemical initiatrix. I'm going to share the chart with you and go into the to the Monday horoscope. This is the Divine Feminine Uprising daily horoscope. So we're in Virgo season. Virgo season is a mutable sign. So it's that season in between summer and autumn where we're moving from one season into another season. It's that sign where we're moving from one season to another season. It's very changeable. It's adaptable. So it's a it's a time where we have this energy of being adaptable and being changeable. With this Mars Gemini, definitely so much data, ideas, so much talking and communication and connecting. So on this wonderful side, there's so much connection energy. And that's what this Mars is wanting us to do is to connect, connect, connect. But also... There is this scattered, distracted energy, this unconscious energy of, of Mars and Gemini, that Gemini energy. And while Mars energy are both light and fun and lighthearted and, and want to do things and talk and excited and there's excitement energy, they're, they're really different about how they go about it. And Gemini is definitely more on the surface, flitting from thing to thing and idea to idea where, um, and there's that duality of going back and forth between intuitive thinking and rational thinking and being in many places at once and holding many things, many ideas at once. So there is this intense energy in that regard. And we have this Eris squared to Pluto and it's been going on for since the beginning of 2020. And what this is, is this goddess is doesn't settle for the status quo of how women are treated of inequality for any person, of elitism, of things that are not fair and just in societal structures and culture. And Pluto is the societal structures. So we have that energy for two years now that we are going through with women rising up into their power and their sovereignty and their autonomy to all people either choosing the path of, re of reinforcing the toxic masculine established way or in the wounded feminine established way or going towards the divine feminine and the divine masculine and towards um uh towards the aquarius age which not the distortion of aquarius but the positivity of Aquarius, which is being all being leaders, autonomous, and unity through diversity, through many ways, all ways get to come together and, and be the world that we live in. What's really important is that this moon is making this trine to Saturn and has this energy of of being able to, it's like this weighing out moon. So there's just a lot of air energy in the chart. There's all this Gemini energy from Mars. There's all of this analytical energy from the Virgo sun. And there is this moon in Libra. And this moon in Libra wants beauty, wants love, wants the, the, wants the aesthetic to really be pleasing and classy and higher end. And this mercury here in in libra and so it's this energy of wanting to balance things out and wanting justice and wanting fairness and there's definitely this opposition to jupiter and we are reviewing and editing all of our belief systems that we've put in place for the last six months and this Jupiter is asking us to come from soul and are we enacting in this new 20 year cycle, this new 12 year cycle, this new cycle, this new chapter of evolution for humanity? Are we enacting this, um, this, this soul, this coming from soul, this coming from emotional energetic place instead of a mental physical place we're moving into a humanity that's really driven not from the fear amygdala brain but from the emotional centers and intuitive centers and energetic centers understanding that we are emotional energetic beings first that that must be first before it can be material and and mental so there is the planets making this contact with uranus and this this contact is this you know energy of um, it's kind of 
an energy of needing to take action and make choices to stand against the old ways and the status quo against no matter what people think of you, no matter what people don't understand you, their opinions, their looks, their vibes, and all of that coming at you as you stand in your empowerment as an individual, but also stand for something better that humanity can accomplish and create in this world and coming together for that. Um, and so then the planets go and they hit Saturn and have aspects to Saturn. And then it's kind of like, so we're expanding out and we're thinking more freely and we're going against the status quo and we're changing things to this Taurus, to this creative ways of doing life. Everyone has this intense creativity. Mars is helping with all of these ideas and downloads. So intense creativity. And this Venus is in Leo about your deep creative desires and passions and wants. And it has this intense square to Uranus and then it will make aspect with Saturn which is like restriction and limitation and it's the titration it's like Saturn if you're in a car and you're going around a curve you want to give it the exact right amount of speed but you do want to give it speed but you want to titrate that speed so that it's not too out of control but it's also not skidding all over because you're going too slow you actually want to speed up in a turn but not too much so Saturn is that titration of are we are we being um are we are we being clear about the way that we're going about it we're not just rioting in the streets and doing things like that but we're actually thinking freely and standing up within our power and letting people fall away or come towards us or not be a part of things and relationships change and letting politics and all of these different structures and systems are having to change to adapt to everyone's creativity everyone's how everyone is working from home, doing things differently, standing up in your soulpreneurship and wanting to heal, wanting to go into the work, wanting to be empowered and um, have fun and have an amazing life and have a life that's not coming from urgency and the old industrial era value system of work, but coming from like doing passionate things that you love, having fun, having amazing joy in life and coming, letting that guide you in your life to everything get out of those. This is like a day to really think about those old paradigms of where you're still coming from urgency. There's a lot of anxiety energy in the air, and there's a really great ways to handle that anxiety. A simple one that you can do anywhere is to just close your right nostril, close your mouth and breathe through your left nostril only in and out through your left nostril, breathe in and out through your left nostril. This is not a show, no breath. This engages the parasympathetic nervous system and it calms anxiety down. However, the anxiety right now is about fear underneath. And so that fear is what needs to be addressed. We do that now chemical goddess. And that's my coaching program. There are limited spaces and you can apply for that by going and booking a complimentary goddess call at the goddessastrologer.com. And we untangle the issues that cause the anxiety instead of just treating the symptom of the anxiety. But this, the Saturn as Venus will make an aspect to, to Saturn then it's this, are we doing this creativity with purpose for humanity, for which is you, for all um, a, a bigger purpose is something that's growing, something that's creating something of value for humanity that's awakening, healing, and and liberating humanity. Those are the three things that are the most important that we're doing. People are focusing on eco and this and that. And it's not that somebody doesn't need to do that. But when humanity is awakened as a whole, then those things just get resolved. So it's more about healing, awakening and liberating humanity from the matrix, which is the programming. It's not money. It's not this. It's not the structure or this bank or whatever. It's the programming in the mind. And so um, it's really waking up to this higher purpose that you have of your amazing life and vision and your dream being for something that's so vital and important of hu moving humanity forward. We're evolving out loud. We're evolving before our very eyes. And yet um, we want to keep going. We want to, to, to move forward. We want to be in, in these high states of frequency and be in these love vibrations, come from the heart, do things differently. I, um, 
So we, and we can move fast, but there's going to be more launching and more launch pads in January. And after Jupiter goes forward and all the planets get out of retrograde, but we do have four outer planets retrograde, Uranus stationed retrograde and Mercury in shadow retrograde. So realize that this isn't, that the flow right now is in creativity. So as more creative you can be, I'm just digging like playing cards right now and, <laughs> and doing this. So we have a two. So this is really this energy of um, coming from your heart and really understanding your emotional seascape, what emotions need to be released, what emotions are you avoiding and stuffing down? So we can repress emotions and we can suppress emotions. Suppression, we know we're doing it. We're trying to get away and go scroll or go TV or go eat or go do anything but deal with that emotion. And that's where really gaining emotional mastery means that you can do anything in your life because it doesn't freak you out to go step up and upgrade to the next level of your business, next level of your visibility as a female solopreneur, the next level of your relationship to deepen intimacy, to connect with people you don't know. I can talk to anyone on the face of the planet. I don't care if it's a president or Pope or what fake authority or what Hollywood celebrity or who it is. I can talk to anyone and it, it's not a problem. Now, do we vibe? Do we click? Do we resonate? Don't know. Don't care. But I'm not afraid to talk to any person. There's no person that I'm like, oh my God, to talk to them. And it's just, you know, it's just who I am and my experiences and what I've sought to, to do with myself to be able to navigate any, any social structure or terrain. And, and so it's like, I don't push away the emotions that might come up. There might be some transitory insecurity or doubt or embarrassment or something that might pop up, but it's like, yeah, it's just an emotion. That's, it doesn't mean it's true. So like, what are you avoiding to not connect to someone deeper? So it's really about the emotions. And then we can repress emotions, not knowing it. We have an ACE, which is all about the heart. It's all about our solar fire, our fuel, our solar fuel to go into this world and to launch ourselves. So what is your sun sign? Because that's your heart. That's your solar fuel. That's the center of your helio chart. And it is who you are so much at the core. It's like, be that sign, like be all of the, the not the distortions of that sign, but all of the good things of that sign. One more card and I got to get off Jack. So be the communicator of something creative and innovative in this world. Happy Monday. Talk to you soon.